Hi, Prep One. Hope that you are all still staying safe, and I hope you enjoyed week two's PE lessons. It's been great to see so many responses that I've got from all the Prep and One classes. So keep that going, and I hope that continues for this week as well. This week we're going to continue with some underarm throw, and then we're going to move into a potential overarm throw activity, which might be a bit of fun as well. So the first underarm throw activity, just a really quick reminder about technique. Okay, starting side onto your target, okay? So Mr. Moore, the left hand throw, that means his right foot needs to be in front. Like most of you though, if you're a right hand throw, my left foot is starting in front, okay? With my arm, it's coming straight back and coming through nice and straight. Don't bring it across your body because the ball will end up going around this way. Bring it nice and straight towards your target, okay? So that's a quick reminder of the instructions. The first activity, pretty simple one. As I've got here, on my bench here at school, I've got a small target, I've got a medium target, and I've got a bigger target. So the idea is I'm gonna be a couple of meters away, okay? I've got some balls here. If you don't have balls, roll up a pair of socks, even a soft toy, stuff like that could be really good. I'm starting from my distance here. The idea is you're trying to knock down the big target three times before you move on to the medium target, and then you move on to the small target. What I'm gonna do for the video here though, I'm gonna have one throw at each target, I'm gonna see how Mr. Moore goes, see if I can knock down each one, okay? Here we go. Yes, first one. Oh, missed the medium one. Missed the medium one, but got the small one. So give that a go as best you possibly can and see how you go. All right, prepping one. The second activity is called soft toy bocce, but I'm gonna demonstrate with these beta balls that we use in PMP. So instead of using these sort of things, you might not have three sort of soft balls at home, what you can do is you can use your soft toys at home, okay? So all you need to do for the activities, have about three would be absolutely ideal. If you're doing it with a partner, maybe four, so you can have two each, and you can sort of compete to see who gets the closest. So what you also need is a sort of marker at the front there. So I've got that um, sort of different shaped ball. So the idea with my underarm throw, okay, is to get my ball or soft toy landing and finishing as close to my sort of marker as possible, okay? It's exactly the same technique, okay? Side on my target, arm coming through nice and straight. All right, and I'm trying to get the ball landing as close as I can. So I'm gonna have three turns, see how close I can get, okay? Up nice and high. Oh, but gradually worse, but that's sort of the idea, okay? So again, if you're doing it with a partner, maybe have two turns each and see if you can get the closest to the one. So give it a go. All right, guys, so the third activity is gonna be a bit different, but a bit of fun, hopefully. So it's called an aeroplane throw, okay? What do you first, we have to do a bit of arts and crafts, so Mrs. G would be happy with this. You have to make yourself a paper aeroplane, so look on the internet and see how you might wanna do it. There's all different sort of um, designs and techniques that you might wanna do. This one's mine, hopefully it is able to fly. So what happens is, I'm starting at my starting point here, and what I've done, is I've made zones, okay? So from the starting point to this yellow cone here, okay, is zone one. So if my paper plane ends up in this zone, I get one point. If my paper airplane lands between the second two cones, so this yellow one and orange one, that's zone two, you probably guess, that gets two points. This one and this one, three points. This one and this one, four points. And if I'm able to throw it past the green cone here, I get five points, okay? So this would be a really good activity to do maybe four or five times, count your score, and see how far you can able to throw your paper airplane. Or again, if you wanna do it with a sibling or a, or a parent and compete with each other and see if he gets the best after a certain amount of turns, that'd be also fantastic. So what I want you to do with this one, it's not an underarm throw, this one, okay? It's actually an overarm throw. So how I want you to throw an overarm, it's virtually the same as an underarm, my body side on, I'm pointing to my target, which is all the markers there, okay? And instead of my arm coming down through like this, my arm's coming over the top like this, okay? So I try and get your arm up as high as you can. But if you can see from the video here, my arm's gonna be bent. So my arm's not straight, that's a different action that you'll learn a bit later. My arm's actually bent, okay? So let's see, let's see how Mr. Moore's paper airplane goes. Let's see how far I can get it down, okay? So point side onto my target and, ooh, that's pretty good. So I've got it between zone cone three and cone four. So I think that was four points. Give it a go.
So guys, when it comes to uploading stuff onto Seesaw, okay, please just send me through a small sort of snippet of videos. If you want to send me a small bits of each one, that'd be great. If you want to send me just one extended one of one, that's also fine. Up to you how much you want to post to me, but try and send me a video so then I can give you some feedback of what how you're doing, okay? Hope you're enjoying the subject and I hope we see you soon.